Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we are right here with the new Jeep Wrangle uh, LG uh, Rubicon 2018 model. Uh, now we are in 2019 and I want to make a review for you guys to show you some off-roading capabilities, a drive test. We will take it uh, into the wood and will be amazing. Uh, you will see some uh, fantastic uh, images uh, with this uh, great SUV it's one of the most uh, amazing car uh, when it's when it's come to, to off-roading and uh, mud snow and all that uh, steep uh, ground so let's talk a little bit about the exterior we have some special uh, wheels here they are new and they are really really um, really good uh, for off-roading you can also see here beautiful rims um, and uh, big ground clearance around it we have this black stick to protect the car also uh, if you are from Switzerland you can come at Belvag Auto in Bern uh, they are great and thank you very much for uh, this car that we can test this car um, they also have a great great price for all kind of cars from Jeep to uh, Mazda, Kia and also Fiat so the front of the car look also fantastic with this front there um, look amazing uh, the LED light, full LED light on this uh, new uh, Wrangle Rubicon we have um, even the blinkers are LED, even the fog light is LED um, and yeah the design is it's, it's gorgeous it is a fantastic car uh, and also this is something that is great um, on this car here the mirrors also um, we have LED light there and a blind spot uh, the car you can drive not only off-road but you can drive on the normal road and it's fantastic also the newest is technology um, keyless entrance so you don't need a key to entrance to go in the car and also you can see we have the soft roof there so we can take it out very easy the LED light in the back as well uh, this is the same model like in 1941 when was the first Jeep uh, on the market also the brake light up here we can also take this wheel if you want a bigger one and change it also the back camera it's right there in the middle uh, of the wheel of the spare tire and also a hook to pull other cars uh, the fog light and um, the design it's it's simple and beautiful so uh, here we have the soft roof i will show you a little bit later how we can take out this soft roof so now if you go inside here you can see uh, we have some clappers here and we have another clappers out there so you just pull it down it's very simple then you go up and push this up push it a little bit up it's really easy everybody can do it even a woman can do that so you don't need so much power to to do this then um, we have a two parts roof open here open so you can you can drive it just like that so it's really amazing when you need uh, a little bit more air in the car you can see how beautiful it's look um, and you have the the back part if you have something in your trunk you can just leave it like that and you protect from rain or for whatever you have in the trunk to not go there so it's really cool you have a lot of option you can even take out this uh, back part these plastic windows uh, very easy in five minutes you can take all out um, so you can see for yourself the trunk it's also big and um, practical you can see how easy uh, you can take this out five minutes no more than five minutes and all the roof it's down pretty cool huh really really cool and the car it's also beautiful um, full LED light everywhere 
uh, great new technology on it like blind spot keyless entrance we have uh, also the newest is navigation system uh, that's on the Jeep in 2019 you will see in a moment and also fantastic Alpine sound so the sound in this car it's it's one of the best here we have some clappers so that you have to pull it up and then down it's very simple and that's all really really simple and fast and now you have a great great um, off-roader um, SUV cabrio <laughs> so it's really really great really simple to take it down this, this LG with uh, soft roof uh, this Rubicon Wrangle uh, one of the best SUV and one of the most beautiful SUV now going inside also great quality on the doors you can see leather uh, and also uh, you can take out these doors it's very very simple uh, that's something amazing so if you want to if you want to drive without the doors you can also do it uh, they are very simple you have the you have the, the key in the in the trunk there I will show you in a moment so uh, also the leather with stitches great great interior quality great seats here is the here is the, the key that you can open it it's, it's always in the back of the car so you can you can take the doors out you have two uh, two parts there that you have to take it out it's very simple and the doors are out so you can you can take the door so it's really 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 easy nothing complicated so now inside here we have some plastic with the uh, storage here uh, net storage down there we have the floor with rubber uh, we have also this beautiful leather seat with red stitches insertion here is the trunk we have alpine sound there in the trunk as you can see back there um, it's really nice it looks nice the seats look very nice and also you have a panoramic roof here with in the in the roof here we have two sound system and also LED light there in the middle as you can see the sound system it sounds fantastic uh, two USB port also the uh, we have a 230 volt uh, so you can charge your laptop up here the air vents and also the buttons for the the windows we have electric windows um, and the buttons are up there because of the water uh, of the water when I will explain you a little bit later about um, how much water can come in the car when you go off-road uh, it's something amazing that not every car can do this here we have two cup holders pretty useful uh, when you drive in on the normal roads um, or you go to the, the, the work anyway here you can see the, the door the, the seat go flat floor down there and you have a huge space in the trunk and now you can also carry long items it has a beautiful system that when you put the seat down uh, the, the the downer part go out go a little bit downer and we have everything uh, flat and great huge space a nice feature there in the front the same great uh, quality on the doors leather with stitches um, storage place down here um, also we have the, the handle the mirror and the buttons to lock and unlock the, the car pretty pretty simple and nice the mirror I showed you before now let's go to the seat we have here manually adjustable seat because the car the water can go in the car uh, like uh, 15 centimeter or something like that and then uh, when you have so many electrics down there is not good so they put the electric uh, in the upper part of the car here we have same side support great seat uh, this this car going off road um, it's it's need some beautiful uh, and practical seats and those are very beautiful with the Rubicon 
logo there and they have side support so you sit in the in the seat very very good here is the light uh, buttons and here are the vents uh, also very nice with this red insertion we have a handle here when you go off-road also a mirror with a nice beautiful LED on the side up here great visibility the dashboard with the sound again speaker there and the vents and uh, yeah that's kind of dashboard it's really nice in the same time very simple uh, the buttons to control different settings on the dashboard, red insertion and the steering wheel as well, uh, leather and great quality. Now, um, let's go inside the car um, to show you the a little bit the dashboard and the navigation system and the interior of this van. Also very beautiful. Um, it's simple to use. I like this red insertion like the car it's red outside. Here is the key and the place where you can leave the key. Um, when you go in the car you don't need to put a key in because it's uh, start. it has a start button. So you have to leave the key just there. Uh, manually handbrake, great with leather and red stitches. The stick for changing different off-road modes like uh, four wheel drive, rear wheel drive, um, 4L, here the front and rear axle, also the uh, stabilization control uh, and uh, curve control, it's really really great uh, off-road. There we have USB port, two USB-C and normal, really great start-stop button. Uh, the navigation system it's it's amazing it's a great it's the same like you have it on the jeep shiroki or the newest is uh, uh, system infotainment from jeep so it's really cool to have on the off-road car uh, so much great technology also um, you will see in a moment um, if you see my other video if you see already uh, the video with the jeep you see already this um, infotainment system and this screen. The screen it's it's great. We have now the sun directly in the in the screen, and you still are able to see uh, because it has a great brightness, great colors, um, very good resolution, and the colors uh, in the screen uh, it's amazing. And right now the sun is directly uh, in the screen, so no not many car uh, can do this. Here you have some. A lot of option about the car. Um, you can also control the climatic system from the screen or uh, control it directly from the buttons. The navigation system also very responsive, uh, very very good, and uh, uh, it has a great software. You can see for yourself. You can also connect your Android uh, phone or your Apple Apple phone to the car, Bluetooth, USB, and all kind of stuff. The car can also connect to the internet and um, all that. It has a lot of settings here. You can. I don't want to go into detail now because it's not about infotainment system on this car. I just show you a little bit faster. There in the middle we have a digital display and on the side we have uh, analogic classic turometer. Very simple to configure it. It has just a button here on the steering wheel. Just have to push it and you change different settings like speed. Here you can see information about the wheel, information about the off-roading, uh, information about the uh, all kind of stuff, speed, um, consumption, kilometer radio, um, and um, I guess I guess you know what I'm talking about. So it's it's really really useful and also have a great uh, resolution great contrast now also the sun is directly almost directly there and you still uh, are able to see it very clear and very nice also around the car look beautiful uh, beautiful beautiful um, surrounding in the car um, I really like it really really like it now just something that I want to show you 
um, that I forget to show you is the off-road page. When you drive uh, off-road, you can go to this page and in this page you have all the information when you go off-road of the car like um, you know how steep is the mountain or the, the, the downhill how deep is the hill and how the car stay uh, temperature here you can see the all that information about off-road so when you go to two wheels you can go two wheels four wheel real wheel you can you can you can share the the wheel power 50 to 50 when you go four wheel you can we can put the differential and uh, the back curve stabilization so it has a lot of great great uh, feature this car uh, for off-roading is the best also here in the front you can see all that information in the front up there the speed you can put to miles per hour or kilometer the way you want it here at blue at blue because the car it's a diesel 2.2 liter engine it's very strong you need to uh, add blue for the car you already know this here you can see about the wheel temperature uh, oil temperature and all that engine temperature here you can see how uh, steep is the hill and stuff like that the oil the battery um, the diesel consumption here on the off-road page you can see the differential when it's 50 50 share you can see here very well how is the the power share between the wheels here when you when you push on this button you can share the power the way you want it and this is really really great You can see how the how the car stay on the on the ground here here so you can see there we have a, a very very good information about how much the the car can how how deep steep the car can go so you can see there if it's danger to drive or not so when it's easy or you can go without problem so um here also the, the trip and the kilometer, how much kilometer the consumption. You can see there uh, 10 liter until now, it's a great consumption. And the, dry, the car was drive um, uh, very sporty and only off-road. So it's great consumption. Here you can also add some information that you want. You can configure it and here you can put the way you want it, as I say. Uh, every every information that you want you can put it there you can change some some settings there in the dashboard and configure it the way you want here also you can change some information now just show you the engine a little bit we have the charger turbocharger there the particle filter it's up there the oil here when you put the oil servo battery servo fluid battery here we have the water for motor for cooling the motor the brake uh, fluid the expansion for the see here see here cast and so like that anyway the the loft this is the engine and this the engine it's put a little bit up if you see it's one meter maybe maybe a little bit more than one meter it's very very up because uh, the car can can go in the water uh, up to the one meter um, 35 i think or something like that anyway you can go uh, with the car in the water until the your feet it's in the water so it's really impressive i will show you a little bit uh, later about that now driving on the road, it's it's fantastic feeling. Here you have some uh, 
some video from inside the car from the driver point of view and it's amazing it's it's great how this car can handle on the road and you have a great great uh, feeling being there in the car here you can see the advantage on on the off-roader you can go on the on the side of the road and then you can make some space without any problem uh, the car is also very powerful and can also drive very very fast um, you can also see here how easy go this car on the downhill it has no problem at all it's very easy and also um, you can drive the car on the normal roads like uh, normal person but in the same time you can go off-road like crazy it will be crazy I will show you uh, in this video a little bit later what this car can do it's really fantastic really great here you can see the dashboard as well and all that uh, all that setting that you can change there it's really impressive really impressive what this car can do and I really like it also a lot of good quality materials inside the car um, the steering wheel also it's great and very responsive a very soft so very easy to to to, to use it also here um, you can see uh, yeah. how you can stay in your feet so you can also drive with the car uh, sitting up and you can see some nice um, nice um, landscape here and it's really beautiful it's a really great feeling uh, sitting up and uh, looking outside in the nature in the summer it's fantastic you can also take photos and whatever also the visibility in the back on the side it's great now i want i want you to hear a little bit of the sound of the engine here uh, in this part of the video so i will let you hear the sound and I will not talk uh, a little bit too much. I like and I really love how this uh, Rubicon Wrangler LG sound uh, engine sound. Sorry about the wind noise. really fun to drive here on this curve with this car it's really really fun and it has a great handling uh, I have to tell you this it's amazing how fast you have to test this car you have to, you have to go to see it if you need an off-roader uh, this is the best car for you and the price is also amazing Great, great. It's really, really cool. And you feel so stable on the road. It's so, so stable. You feel safe when you drive it. 
Now, come to the, bay, uh, to the, to the great part. We go off-road a little bit with the car here. And um, I'm really impressed. It was after rain in the wood. Uh, it's a lot of mud and water. And the car is a great, great car. With that problem here. And also, it's kind of uh, uphill. Uh, a, a huge steep hill here and the car can handle without any problem here you can see some images outside how the wheel handle this job very easy and very stable really really cool really cool the way it looks really fun now you can see the road here it has some water on it as well here is not so uh, steep hill but um, you can see some images of roading with this car it's, it's quite cool you can see how big the wheels are and how how cool it is to drive in the wood can do a great, great job. This yes, car is fantastic. No, no other car can do what this car can do. If I come with my car here, I will need a helicopter to take it out. Also, uh, driving it uh, off-road is very fun really fun and at the same time very easy so you it's not so complicated you just have to know how to how to keep the wheel there uh, on the main the sound of the engine is also fantastic I really enjoy this car so if I, if I have uh, if I have more money I will definitely buy this um, this Wrangle LG Rubicon. Um, I will definitely want to have this car in my, my garage. Uh, it's, it's an amazing car. I like it. I really like it. I like how fun it's to drive. Make you smile all the time. It's really strong and you feel powerful. Uh, and even driving here in the wood, you feel amazing. So you can forget about the normal SUVs. If you want to go off-road, uh, you have to buy one of these cars because uh, the normal SUV, the street SUVs, you have no chance to come here. It's just a joke uh, that makes you feel a little bit taller in the car and uh, safer, maybe are a little bit more safer than the small car. But if you really want to make um, off-road, uh, this car is the perfect car and you should take this car um, anyway here are some more images uh, of clothing it was a little, a little, uh, a little bit raining before one day and it's a lot of water here because if the, the, the soil was uh, not, uh, it, water is much more easy for the car to go, but here you can see it's a lot of water, very much water down there, and, and uh, the car still handling fantastic. Even if here it's, it's a lot of water and mud, this is the worst case scenario for a car. Uh, even on the snow, it's much more easy than on the on this mud with water so the worst case scenario um, the car handling uh, it's fantastic and the test or test was uh, impressive I'm really impressed with what this car can do um, great capabilities great car uh, in my opinion it's, it's fantastic
Now, going down here, it's, it's the trickiest part on all the, all the road, but it's also still handling fantastic. You can see here uh, the back camera, the car have also a back camera, this is cool and it's very very easy to drive it, it's really great. You can see also here, you can see how easy the car go up, really impressive, huh? without problem it go up and it's really really powerful, it's really fun, it's really fun to be here in the car uh, when you do this kind of stuff. and the road you can go also a little bit faster here we can turn <laughs> in the wood it's really impressive really cool really great now we drive over the tree there it's a tree on the street you can see it passed without any any problem at all you can you can drive everywhere uh, over the stones over the trees it's it's really 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 powerful car it's really great car so I hope you enjoy this videos guys so uh, I really really wait for your feedback and tell me what you think about this car please comment uh, leave me your feedback here. You can see the curve control how easy the car will really go up there uh, without any problem uh, Send It's really really strong Anyway, leave me your feedback. Tell me what you think about the car. Tell me uh, what you think about the video and uh, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos um, I have a lot of new videos there with the newest car uh, on the market today and I hope you will enjoy it. Also, thank you very much for watching my channel, guys. Um, it's really, really helpful and um, I always uh, try my best to show you the, the, the detail on every vehicle that you didn't see on the normal so if you have some question or you want to see something special you can also ask me here you can see the LED light um, open so it's full LED like I say like I tell you before um, it's classic look in the front um, we have seven uh, seven lines there in the front on the Jeep also the sensors, parking sensors in the front, full LED, full fog light there. We have we have only on the Rubicon these uh, these tires. We have uh, very strong tires and special. Here we have cheap unlimited. This is the unlimited. It's, it's with five doors. Here we have some uh, massive bars there from uh, metal, so it's very massive, so they are very strong when you hit something and uh, keyless entry, like, like I tell you before guys, the, the here we can take out the doors, I show you before, very simple and easy. Um, this roof, you can open it, uh, soft roof like I show you before. Um, it's very easy to, to take it out. Uh, the car come also you have another version of fixed uh, roof uh, that's a little bit different and this is the soft roof. Here the same LED light in the back um, as I tell you before the same system like uh, 1941 from the four, first uh, Jeep that come on the market. They keep this here is the fog lamp in the back, park sensors 
and the light for the number plate also this car is from Belvac um, so they, are, they have a lot of cars there so again this logo from the first Jeep when it was on the market here we have a back camera a full definition camera it's great great resolution there here we have the hook that you can pull uh, things cars and wherever you want to pull it with it also 2.2 diesel uh, the new uh, engine with uh, Euro 6 um, and also the uh, yeah so we go uh, here on the side we have this um, train rate uh, logo train rate so this is really cool going inside um, here close the, the light so now we go in the back a little bit I want to show you the trunk when you open the trunk it's not so big an entrance, but you can put a lot of stuff there right now. Uh, but under, you can put some stuff down here. We have the the here we can put the the shroud when you take out the door. Here is the 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 key when you open the, and then you can put it there to not lost it. It's really cool. Uh, that they, they, they make this uh, option possible here we have Alpine sound system really great great the bus it's fantastic the, the sound it's great it's, it's all you need is right here up there we have this uh, the speaking um, system up there also two um, speakers in the roof uh, that make the car sound fantastic uh, when you want to put that, put up the the soft roof, it's very simple. You just have to pull it up a little bit like that. I will show you now. Um, you just pull it up, and then and then just up here, um, you can go again, and in in maybe five minutes you you make everything back how it is. You put it back, then you put the clappers um, up here, and that's ready. Now it can rain in the car without problem. No rain will come in the car right now after this is closed, so it's really fantastic. It's really great. Here we have uh, some hole when the water comes in the car. Uh, you take that out and the water will go uh, out from the car, because this car can go in the water. You can see GL Sport Utilities. You, you can see the two doors, the, f the five doors, the water. You can see dry. You can see the water can go uh, over the the spare tire, over the the tires a little bit. So it's really impressive. So the water can go until here in the in the. In the car so the, the the feet will be in the water for 10 centimeters or something like that so it's really impressive all the electric it's in the upper part of the car so um, that thing uh, the buttons for the the windows are also up there and every electric in the car it's up no other car can do this really impressive how you can go uh, in the water with this car also, if you want to see this car, go to Belvag in Switzerland and thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoy it.